Good morning to all my friends and family and welcome, welcome to my beautiful city of Sydney and welcome to Jim's 5am club and as you can see I'm coming to you from a magnificent little location here. I've got the icon of the sun rising across the uh, Sydney Harbour and I've got the uh, Opera House silhouetted over there as well and how beautiful is it? This little area here just below the Harbour Bridge is one of my favourite places. I remember coming down here with my wife Paula early in our days when we were dating and I'd bring her down here and I'd photograph her and I'd admire her and it is one of the most beautiful places in the world to be. We've got the Sydney Harbour Bridge there, the magnificent monument the global monument that is recognised throughout the world. And if you sit and think about it, it's a big, massive smile, an upside down smile. So let's just do a bit of a panning shot here and just check out where I am. And I'm enjoying the, the magic hour. It's the half hour before sunrise and the half hour after sunrise, which is something to be savoured and it is so special that uh, it's a pity. It's an absolute pity to miss it. And it's available to you day in, day out uh, for those who wish to make the most of the opportunity. And uh, now we do celebrate a beautiful city here. And today is gonna to be a 10 out of 10. Let's just, uh, let's just get Fort Denison in that little picture as well. You can see Fort Denison over there. How beautiful is that as well? Anyway, let's do a bit of a walk and talk. And uh, in the tr true tra tradi tradition of Jim's 5am club, I'm coming to you unscripted, unedited. Um, unorganized, unpre-planned. We're just gonna talk casually about different things that come into our head. And as the Greeks say, translated to English means we're going to uh, pull the snake out of the hole and uh, just chat about things and see where it takes us. Um, so what I wanna talk about today is uh, a term, a term that I come across many years ago. I often see um, canoes down here by the uh, Harbour Bridge. There's a, a group in Sydney that do a morning canoe trip. Hopefully they'll pop around here at some point soon. But it's something that I uh, plan to do at some point and it is uh, a glorious, a glorious way to see the harbour. But uh, I remember years ago when I was working at IBM, I came across a saying that uh, one of the directors talked about. Uh, and it's a, quite a powerful, quite a powerful saying. And the saying is, uh, goes as follows. They say that, uh, Oh, there they are. I can see the canoeists over there. So just to the left of the uh, sun sunrise there at Kirribilli House. They're just going around the point there, just to the left of that sailing boat. Uh, yeah, so the canoeists. So the canoeists are out and about. And it's something that I'm going to add to the th list of things that I must get done in my life. And, uh, and not take things for granted. But the saying goes as follows. You can't sink my end of the boat and hope to keep yours afloat. And I remember as a young executive, a young, excitable executive that I was working at IBM, you know, we'd get flustered every now and then and we'd want to uh, cross swords with everybody who, uh, who didn't do as they promised and uh, held us up and the uh, 
I guess the motto or the uh, the um, the moral the moral of that little saying is that you can't sink my end of the boat and keep yours afloat is a powerful way of reminding us that uh, we are partners. We are partners in this life. We are partners in our each other's growth and development. And we really can't um, attack each other or push each other uh, away or push each other, other down under the water and invalidate each other and not expect the other person to retaliate. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least ten canoes over there. So how do we use this for the young people? I guess the, the big message from this uh, saying is that you really can't win arguments. Now you can spend your whole life trying to be right, trying to argue with family and friends, but at the end of the day, all you're really doing when you're arguing with people is you're engaging them in an unconstructive way and you're just basically developing an enemy. You're building, you're creating, you're molding an enemy for life. Somebody who's going to uh, go out of their way just to uh, get in your way throughout your career and it's not going to be all that productive. As they say in, uh, in Dale Carnegie's book, Winning Friends and Influencing People, you, know, you get more from, uh, you, get, you get more bees by uh, putting out honey than by putting out uh, something else. So the trick is to be mindful. The trick is to have a balanced view and to be tactful in what you do and how you do it so that you're not putting people offside. You just don't know in this day and age who you're offending and, and how you're offending them, how you're offending them. But one thing for sure and for certain, if you offend somebody, many of the times, most of the time, they're not going to tell you, you're not going to find out about it until much, much later when all of a sudden you look back and say to yourself, what happened there? Why is my relationship with so-and-so never bearing fruit and all it is is just bearing bitterness, pain, suffering and just disappointment? And the reason for that is pretty simple. That for some reason along the way you've said something, you've done something which has pissed them off and through pissing them off you've created an enemy. And as an executive once told me at IBM, in order for you to succeed, a lot of people, a lot of people must want you to succeed. Because if you've got a team of people out there who hate your guts, your, uh, your future is limited. So you're not going to be achieving the goals and dreams that you've set out for yourself or the goals and dreams that your parents have set, set out for you. So uh, be mindful, and as I said before, the lesson here is very, very simple. Now try and prop up other people, try and help other people. See it as a, see them as partners in your growth and development. Your wife, your parents, your relatives, your, your, your peers, everybody around you are in a position to help you grow and develop. But if you don't embrace them and if you don't um, work with them, then they could be the, uh, your opponents who are going to uh, go out of their way to uh, prune you, to uh, put you in a pot which is too small for you to grow and develop. So there's a balancing act there. So you need to take responsibility and accountability for your own growth and development. But by the same token, you need to be smart enough to know that your growth and development also depends on many people around you. 
and for you to uh, leverage, leverage those relationships and make the most of them so that you don't have uh, people working, spending their whole life and every minute of the day plotting to see what they can do to bring you down and to uh, embarrass you in public. Anyway, thank you very much. It's a tough topic, that one there. It's not an easy one, but it's, uh, it's got some great lessons, great lessons for all of us to, uh, to make the most of our relationships with people around us, make the most of our network, and to not take anyone for granted, to not um, piss people off, and to ask the question, and if you see somebody who's, who looks as if they may be working against you, just to work with them and, uh, and find out what is it that, uh, that annoys them so that you can uh, partner with them. Because at the end of the day, you grow, they grow, we both grow together. And you can't grow by destroying the people around you. You can do it temporarily, but uh, for a person who has a long view of life, you'll realize that uh, you'll get to the top or you'll get to a point in your life where you end up being lonely and miserable because soaring on your own has its limitations, has its pains, and the higher you soar, like, like Icarus, you might get too high and those sun rays as warm, beautiful sun rays may melt the wax in your wings and you may come tumbling down and it's a long way down. And uh, if you don't have friends and people who want to support you on the way up and on the way down, then uh, it's not going to be all that fulfilling and uh, it's not going to be something which is going to be fun. Anyway, thank you very much again for joining me on Jim's 5am Club. I look forward to coming to you again tomorrow from another location, don't know where it'll be, but uh, hopefully we can couple it up with something which is spectacular, beautiful, uh, noteworthy, with a positive affirmation, with a positive message, and something that we can use to grow and develop, as opposed to something that'll uh, break us down and cut us up and uh, throw us into the garbage bin. Now, life is, life is a challenge, we all know that. And, uh, but the important thing is to know is that we're here for each other and uh, we need to be interdependent. We need to depend on each other for each other's growth, development and fulfillment. And if you think that uh, you can do it on your own, then you're going to be sadly mistaken. Because as we can see coming into view now, we've got this beautiful, um, tall ship. I think it's called the Endeavour. Let me go and have a look close up to see the name of it. But uh, I'd love to do a 5am club from here, from on top of there one day. And uh, yeah, so if you think you can do it alone, try sailing a tall ship on your own. As I said at IBM years ago, in order to succeed, not only, not only do you need to want to succeed, but you need a lot of people around you to be part of your team and to want you to succeed. So uh, whatever your name is, just put the word team in front of it and you need to make sure that everybody's on team, um, team Jim or team Paula or team Artemis or team Catherine or team whatever your name is. Oh, so this uh, tall ship is called the Southern, Southern Star. Let me have another look, get another angle. It's a beauty, isn't it? Check it out. I love this. Uh, it's got the anchor in front there of the name there, so I can't quite make out the name. I'll just have another look from another angle to pick up the name. It actually looks like Southern Swan, almost there. Yeah, the Southern Swan, the Southern Swan. How beautiful is that? Glistening in the uh, sunrise here. Anyway, let's finish off. 
with a positive affirmation, I'm, al I'm alive, I'm well, and I feel absolutely great. To my friends and family, stay connected, stay well, stay relevant, and most importantly, let's, um, let's do whatever we can to prop each other up and not to put each other down so that we're all growing and developing at our own rate. Uh, but at least we're moving in the right direction. Take care, everybody, and until we chat again, yasas and bye for now.